What's up guys? So today I'm going to be talking about the latest chapter of Fairy Tale that was just released. Um, in this chapter, I'll be reviewing and discussing and doing a little bit of predictions and uh, personal opinions on the topic. So let's get started. Um, I'm assuming you guys have read the chapter. Um, so basically, here's my thoughts on it. I do... Well, this first off, this chapter has completely changed what we thought of Xeroth and what he thinks of all the demons he created and the whole Tartarus organization as a whole. And you guys probably already know this. Basically, what's going on here is that you got Tartarus and all those demons made by Xeroth, or technically the wife of Xeroth, but... Uh, I guess he's claiming that he made these demons himself. Regardless of what's right or wrong, the point is that Zerov just stops by. It's not the first time he stopped by here, but he stops by, literally freezes time, and talks to Natsu. A little bit like the X Men movies with Xavier. And he, he talks to um, Natsu and says some very vague, obscure foreshadowing words and it implies a lot of things first off it implies he doesn't give a crap about any of these demons um, he obviously is thinking on a higher level because he's he pretty much remarks on how desperately these demons are trying to salvage together all these things in order to see just to meet Zera they're literally trying to kill all these mages in the entire country well, technically, does FaZe kill the mages or just wipe them of their magic? Regardless, they're doing all this to get to Xeroth. And Xeroth actually shows up, freezes time, doesn't even have the courtesy to see them. And he says it's not the first time he stopped by. It's ridiculous. Um, and so Xeroth's doing his thing. He says some very strange stuff and has been revealed to be the, the strongest demon of Xeroth. Uh, we don't know what's going on. I predict. I, I believe that Zeroth possibly, maybe, can't be his own demon. He can't be End, and he's trying to find someone who will. And he's sort of regretting his past dark ways. And so he sees. It seems like maybe um, Igneal and all the dragons possibly banded together and lost to End, and Zeroth failed as well so he re regressed into this sleeping dormant childlike weakened form to go into hiding for thousands of years and now he's come across Natsu who's not yet ripened enough to take on end but it seems like the culmination of the big arc I'm excited to see what's going on but now we've sort of downgraded Tartarus to this you know clown circus troop that doesn't really matter moreover it ends with this another demon of Tartarus being revealed some weird bone guy um, I don't think he'll be too hard to take out um, and then finally we got these like I mean fairy tales once again all fine and dandy everyone who is captured or seemed to be placed into a dire situation lo and behold for the millionth time is you know all fine and dandy everyone who was captured or was in trouble or controlled that includes uh, Elfman, Lisana, Urza, Natsu um, they're all free or they're, they're fairly free or released or healthy and not controlled anymore and I think they'll all do fairly fine so we'll see what's going on and as always like favorite comment and subscribe I'll see you in my next video but that is one thing I don't like about that chapter or the series as a whole how everything just you know very quickly just all the good guys just you know they're all fine and dandy again so um out of 10 i'm going to give this chapter a solid 7.8 and the deduction from 10 is because of what i just said however that's still a very solid rating i'll see you guys later in my next video peace